This video is made possible by Zing Cases. Visit zingcases.com for a whole range of cases and accessories for your smartphone. Hey, what's up YouTube? Saf here on Super Saf TV. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a camera comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the Sony Xperia Z2. I'll be looking at both the front-facing and rear-facing cameras and at images as well as video too. Do also look out for the audio icon in the corner of the screen and that will indicate to you which device the audio is coming from too and I'll be switching between these two to give you guys an idea of the differences in audio as well. So we're currently indoors and we're using the front facing cameras on both devices and they both do film at 1080p. One thing I can notice straight away is that the Samsung Galaxy S5 is quite a bit wider compared to the Sony Xperia Z2 so you can notice that straight away. But anyway, do hit that thumbs up button and let's head outside and give the rear facing cameras a test too. It's not looking too great, but let's uh, head outside. So we're now outdoors and it's a pretty dull day today. But uh, here are some close-ups of some flowers. We're filming at 1080p from both devices, although they are capable of filming at 4K, which we'll check out in a second. But this is the sort of quality difference that you can expect at 1080p outdoors on a pretty dull day. Okay, so we're now outdoors and we're filming at full 4K on both of these devices. And we are scaled down currently at 1080p because this video is exported at 1080p. But the option we have with 4K is that we can always crop in. So that's always a good option. And this is the sort of quality difference that you can expect between these two. So now we are currently indoors in relatively low light with the Samsung Galaxy S5 just to test out the autofocus and how it works when you move from subject to subject. Seems to be doing a very good job so far and you can also touch the focus if needed. Now we are with the Sony Xperia Z2 in the same lighting and once again testing out the autofocus and seeing how well it works when we move from subject to subject. Once again, it seems to be doing a pretty good job. You can't touch the focus though, so it is fully relying on the autofocus, which seems to be doing okay. So that was the video. Now let's have a look at some images. Now we're gonna do this in our new style, which is gonna be of showing you the images first, letting you decide which one you like better. Then I'm gonna do the reveal as to which device these images were taken on. This way there's no bias to your preferred brand or anything. You will be having an unbiased opinion and I think this works quite well, so we'll be continuing on with that. So starting off with a selfie from both cameras. So we've got the front facing cameras. Now the image on the right hand side is wider compared to the image on the left hand side. That may already give it away which one's which. But uh, both seem to be doing decent. They are a little bit on the softer side on both of these. I think this is something that a lot of the front facing cameras are doing these days just to sort of smooth out the skin a little bit. Both of these do also have beauty face on there which was switched off. I promise it was switched off on both of these but that's an option that's available on both. I think color wise they're pretty even. The left hand side image is a little bit cooler whereas the right hand image is a little bit warmer. And to do the reveal we've got the Samsung Galaxy S5 on the right hand side and the Sony Xperia Z2 on the left hand side. I think the fact that the right hand image was a little bit wider probably gave it away anyway based on the video from earlier but uh, this is what we've got I'm gonna say it's pretty even here for the front facing cameras now moving on to an outdoor image in good light yes it was a dull day but the lighting was good and we've got some flowers here both are doing an excellent job we've got tons of detail on both images and both images also look very very sharp there's a little differences in colors I think the image on the right hand side is a little bit more vibrant the flowers look a little bit more on the pink sort of purpley side whereas the left hand side image is a little bit more on the red side. Now this will come down to personal preference but both are doing great. To do the reveal now we've got the Samsung Galaxy S5 on the left hand side and the Sony Xperia Z2 on the right hand side. Now what we'll do is let's go in 100% to see if we can see any more differences. And at 100% both again are very very good, very sharp. You can see that little insect at the bottom which is amazing the amount of detail that these cameras have. And again both are doing very good. Now you may be wondering, hey Saf, what have you done? Both of these are 100%, but the Sony Xperia Z2 has a 20.7 megapixel refacing camera, whereas the Samsung Galaxy S5 has a 16 megapixel refacing camera. So how come they're at the same size at 100%? Well, that's because the Sony Xperia Z2 takes images at 4x3. So if I show you an example, this is the full image from the Sony Xperia Z2. And as you can see, it's at 4x3. Now in comparison, the Samsung Galaxy S5, if we overlay on here, you can see that it's 16x9. So we've got less resolution on the top and the bottom. But in terms of focal length, they're pretty much similar. So you're gonna get similar size images at full crop, 
but the Sony Xperia Z2 does have the advantage of having a little bit more resolution at the top and the bottom. So that's the reason for that before I start getting all attacks in the comment section. So there you go, that's the reason. I hope that explains it. Anyway, moving on. So this is an outdoor image in, again, a pretty dull day. And we've got a wide shot here. Now I think both are doing pretty well. I think the right hand side image has maintained a little bit more detail in the clouds compared to the left hand side image which has popped it out a little bit. I think this one will come down to personal preference. I think both are doing a good job here. And to do the reveal, the left hand side image is of the S5 and we've got the Z2 on the right. Now Galaxy devices generally I've noticed do pop out clouds a little bit. So if there is a lot of white, it does get popped out and they do prioritize the foreground. So that's something that you're probably gonna expect but uh, I don't think it's a big deal. I think both are doing great. Now moving on to an indoor image in good light. I think the right hand side image definitely is doing a better job here. It's uh, got more contrast and the color also seems a little bit more accurate. This is the reason why I've used these cans because they let you know what, what the colors are really like because everyone's seen these colors from these brands. And I do think the right hand side image is doing better and that is of the Galaxy S5. The Xperia Z2 is on the left hand side. And although I think it's a decent image, it's a little bit more on the cooler side and I do prefer the right hand side image more. Now moving on to an indoor image in relatively low light. So both of these are doing a decent job here I think. We've got some decent details. I do think that the left hand side image has a little bit more detail and is a little sharper. And that is of the Samsung Galaxy S5. So I'm going to give the edge here to the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now I do have to mention that both of these were taken on auto and on the Samsung Galaxy S5 it uses a slower shutter speed to let in more light on the image so that might have something to do with it but in terms of the end result on auto I do think that the S5 is doing a little bit of a better job on the image nothing major between these two and finally moving on to images using the flash now I usually avoid using flash on uh, smartphones I don't think they're quite up there as yet but I think the right hand side image is definitely better colors are maintained details are better on the left hand side it is slightly washed out now to do the reveal we've got the samsung galaxy s5 on the right hand side and the sony xperia z2 on the left hand side so i am going to give the edge to the s5 here again so there we have it the samsung galaxy s5 versus the sony xperia z2 i think both of these do a very good job and they both produce some very sharp images with lots of detail so i am going to have to say that both are absolutely great in terms of the front facing camera it was slightly tricky I think the images were pretty even but in terms of the video I did notice that the Samsung Galaxy S5 was a bit washed out now I'm not used to seeing this and it seems a bit odd but this was the case here I think the Samsung Galaxy S5 didn't do as well in terms of the front facing video compared to the Sony Xperia Z2 now in terms of the rear facing camera I think overall in terms of images I would have to give the edge to the Samsung Galaxy S5 although both took great images slight edge in terms of detail would have to go to the Samsung Galaxy S5 I did prefer the images of those overall in terms of video from the rear facing cameras i think it was neck and neck both were very even both can do 4k as well there's no video stabilization on the samsung galaxy s5 at 4k whereas you do have that on the sony xperia z2 so you get slightly more smoother results at 4k on the sony xperia z2 so at 4k the edge would have to go to the sony xperia z2 in terms of sound i would have to give the edge to the samsung galaxy s5 i think the sound was a little bit more rich and it definitely was a little bit better compared to the sony xperia z2 that's what i think anyway what do you think do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts if you want to see more images from lots of different devices then do go ahead and give me a follow on instagram i am at supersaf tv and I post lots of images from lots of different devices when I'm testing them. So do go ahead and check that out. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, as always, please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And why not subscribe to the channel? I've got plenty more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time. If you want to see more regular videos like this one, then be sure to hit the subscribe button, which will be below. If you're on a mobile device, it may be somewhere else. If you want to see my previous related video, then hit the link right here. If you want to stay in touch over Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, then all of the addresses will be there somewhere, as well as direct links in the description below. Okay, if you're still watching, then that means you've not done one of those things, so... Anyway, um, I'm just I'm just gonna go um, downstairs. See. Okay. Um, th there isn't really a downstairs. Anyway. Uh, so yeah.